these are the skincare products I used in 2023. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about these products, what I think about them, and in turn, you would know if you would like to try them out or not. I'm going to be talking about these products in the order in which you do your routine, that is, in the order in which you apply your product. For a basic skincare routine, you go like this. For a more advanced routine, you can go like this. Bear in mind that you don't necessarily need a toner or a serum or an essence. Your routine can be like this, or like this, or like this. The point is that your skincare routine should consist mainly of what your skin needs. Skincare is personal, don't do for the full look. So boys and girls, yes boys and girls, because skincare is not gender based. Come closer. Starting with cleansers, I have used three cleansers this year. The first one being the simple refreshing facial wash. This was my cleanser for a very long time. I've used several bottles of this cleanser. It is affordable. It is great for all skin type. It lasts for a very long time. It lasts as well. Excellent, amazing cleanser. If you are starting skincare, okay, I just get into skincare. I would advise that you start with this. The second cleanser I've used is the Face Fat Ceramide hydrating gentle cleanser this cleanser consists of five ceramides hyaluronic acid and oats this cleanser is great it's great value for the money it's 400 ml so it is a lot of product it ladders well it lasts for a very long time it's good for all skin types amazing cleanser amazing amazing cleanser the last cleanser that i've used this year is the salicylic acid daily gentle cleanser i have the mini one by the way i got this because i was breaking out and because i have hyperpigmentation little goes a long way like little ladders well little cleanses your skin well it's an amazing cleanser if you have acne prone skin or you are you have hyperpigmentation i would advise that you get this cleanser it's great value for the money too it's quite affordable especially the mini one quite affordable and it goes a long way i also want to clear out the misconception between cleansers and toners what does it mean to cleanse to cleanse is to wash to remove dead stains marks impurities a cleanser is meant to wash your skin to make your skin feel clean it's supposed to remove the sunscreen that you wore earlier in the day a cleanser is meant to wash your skin a toner is not cleansing your skin also i would just advise that you don't use a cutting pad for your toners like pour the toner on your on your hand and dab it on your skin you are wasting products when you use a cutting pad with that being said moving on to toners bear in mind that you don't necessarily need a toner in your routine some people claim that it is not necessary i like it in my routine i have dry skin and i need extra hydration most of the toners in the market um helps with hydration helps with balancing your skin ph that is the main essence of a toner to balance the ph of your skin because when you use this product and that product it can distort the ph of your skin and the toner helps you restore the back i've used four toners um this year the first one is the aqua licorous ph balancing cleansing toner this is my go-to toner i've used several bottles of it it's it's said to help with hyperpigmentation i really don't know about that but i know that it hydrates my skin really well this is an amazing toner nine over ten love it the second toner i've used this year is the aru aru wonder black rice hyaluronic toner it's meant to be an hydrating toner but i did not really feel that much hydration with this toner it did not do much for me like it was just a basic toner it was just there yeah the next toner i used is the skin by zaron ultimate glow brightening toner this toner contains kojic acid glycolic acid niacinamide hyaluronic acid and those are supposed to brighten exfoliate hydrate this toner too was actually just there for me like i did not feel any difference with this toner it did not really hydrate my skin I don't know if it's exfoliated, but so just a basic toner for me. The last toner I use is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fight and Fade Toner. This is an exfoliating toner. I use it to exfoliate my skin whenever I want to exfoliate because it has salicylic acid. In it, this, this is the only exfoliant I've ever used. This is the only exfoliant I use. It is constant in my routine. Amazing toner, great value for the money. Moving on to essence, I've used two essence this year. The first one being the Tiam Snail and Azuline Water Essence. This essence is amazing. It is a snail machine and it is amazing. I dress my skin really well. This is my go-to essence. I've used several bottles. I cannot count. I think I used the Cosarex Snail Machine once and then immediately I tried out this one and I just stuck with this one. It is more 
um, in quantity than the Corsair X Slim would seem, and it is less expensive. Like it is 180 ml and it is less expensive. And for me, it is more hydrating. The second essence I used is the Adalabo Premium Lotion. It says lotion, but in Japanese, I've heard that lotions are usually essence or toners. Yeah, this is gold in a bottle. Like I actually thought that the Tiam Snail and Azulene Essence was very hydrating. I got this one and it is even more hydrating. Lovely, lovely product. I recommend this to Essence if you have dry skin or you are looking for something to hydrate your skin i recommend these two essence they are amazing they are good some of you are under the chokehold of the cosarex neomosin i don't have anything against the brand i'm just trying to say that they are better hydrators and hydrating products in the market and you should try them out now let's go to serums i'm going to start with the ones that i'm not very impressed with and that is the balance vitamin c serum first of all i'm not a fan of vitamin c serum you put think that vitamin c serum is the beginning and the end of skincare you put think that vitamin c serum is gold i think that niacinamide is more of the ingredients that you put in vitamin c serum is that brings me to the fact that if you have dr rachel vitamin c serum please drop it it is cheaper so i understand why people gravitate towards it but i've heard a lot about that vitamin c serum and that brand in general some people start using that serum or that brand and they start getting rashes they start getting darker i don't know just drop it please drop it if it works for you fine good go for it but i will not recommend this vitamin c serum was getting me darker i don't know why like i started using it i was getting darker i dropped it my skin color came back and then i started using it again i was getting darker so i've dropped it Maybe I'll continue after a while, like I'll give it a second chance, but for now, nah, not really. The next is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. I wanted to try this Niacinamide Serum out because I love Good Molecules as a brand. And this, like the benefit that I get from Niacinamide, which I know, I was not getting it from this serum. It was not for me, like it was, like nothing was, it was not just giving me the benefits that I wanted. Next is the Corsarex Propolis Light Ampoule. This is supposed to be an hydrating serum and I did not get the benefit from it. Not because it was not hydrating, it was very hydrating, but it's tiny, it's 30 ml, so I was mising it. But I would recommend, like, if you can go for it, go for it. It's a little bit pricey and I think that's why I was mising it because... But I did not get the benefit from it because I was mising it, but will I recommend? Yes, if you can afford it. Next is the Azanic Azelic Acid Gel. This is small but mighty. Um, 20% azelaic acid is a lot of like the concentration is high so I don't use it every day like I use it on and off because if I use it consistently like every day I would react to it so I space it out I use this mainly whenever I'm breaking out whenever I'm having hormonal acne or once stubborn acne is coming I just use it and in days fight me fight sorry not me fight the acne for me and it is gone lovely product highly recommend the next is the touch bright and clear cream this cream contains azelaic acid kojic acid niacinamide chanezamic acid and these ingredients are meant to fight hyperpigmentation i have hyperpigmentation i have sunburn i have dark spots i have acne spots and i'm always looking for something to add in my routine to fight hyperpigmentation this um cream is a little bit pricey but it is great value for the money little goes a long way i've been using it and i think that if you are using it you need to be patient because at first you will not see results but i've been seeing results and that's because i'm patient lovely serum highly recommend next is the tiam vita b3 source serum we contains mainly niacinamide and albutin 10 percent niacinamide like i said niacinamide is an og ingredient it helps with inflammation it helps with hyperpigmentation it helps to brighten dull skin it helps to control sebum production which is oil which is in which will in turn help to control acne so if you have acne prone skin if you have hyperpigmentation look out for products or things that have niacinamide as ingredients in them this serum contains 10 percent niacinamide and i've noticed that with um a higher percentage of niacinamide it breaks me out if i use it consistently so i space this out i use it one day on one day off if i use it every day i would break out so you need to watch out and observe how your skin reacts to certain ingredients and 
observe and do well with how you use them next is my favorite favorite serum which is the good molecules discoloration correcting serum this serum contains tranexamic acid which is an ingredient that is very good if you are dealing with hyperpigmentation like i said i have hyperpigmentation so i'm always looking out for products that have ingredients that will help me fight this this serum is very subtle it's very gentle to the skin it's a staple in my routine i buy it every time it is constant in my routine love this serum like i've used three this year maybe more than i think i've probably thrown bottles away it is a constant in my routine love it highly recommend moisturizers i've used two moisturizers this year the first one is the Cosarex advanced nail all in one cream this uh, moisturizer has a very light consistency it is very lightweight it leaves this amazing glow on your skin after you use it there's not much to say about this product is lightweight great um, moisturizer lovely moisturizer the second moisturizer i use is the illyun ceramide Acto concentrate cream this moisturizer has more of a thicker consistency like it is thicker but it is not greasy and it does not make your skin feel oily it is just thicker it helps to repair your skin barrier if it is destroyed it helps with inflammation if your skin is irritated it helps with that if your skin is doing any outsha this moisturizer is great for it it's also great value for the money it is 200 ml like it is a lot of product and it lasts really really long i use this bottle for a very very long time it's a matam period now and i'm looking for a thicker moisturizer i've been looking for this moisturizer and it is sold out everywhere that goes to show you that it is an amazing moisturizer highly recommend sunscreens i've used two sunscreens this year too the first being the Nivea UV Super Water 50 Gel. Amazing sunscreen. This sunscreen is very lightweight. Um, a lot of people don't like sunscreens because it can feel very uncomfortable on the skin. But this sunscreen feels like a moisturizer. It is very lightweight. It is hydrating also. So if you have dry skin, you will love this sunscreen. If you have oily skin too, because it will not feel heavy on your skin, highly recommend this sunscreen. It is also 140 grams. That is a lot of product lovely lovely sunscreen the second sunscreen i've used is the bondi sand hydra uv protect spf 50 i love love this sunscreen this is a new bottle by the way i think i've showed you guys in a previous video this sunscreen when i was getting it i have used a lot of bottles of this sunscreen it's an australian brand and they are said to be very serious with their sunscreens like they made good sunscreens that give you the protection that you really really need this sunscreen is also very hydrating if you have dry skin you will love this um sunscreen very hydrating it is also one how many grams 150 ml that is a lot of product a lot of products lovely lovely sunscreen gives you the protection that you want like i never actually doubt that i'm not getting the full protection that i need with this sunscreen also whenever people ask me what type of sunscreen that you should get it's very easy for you to go and get all those sunscreens that are like 7000 but they are 50 ml if you're getting a sunscreen of 7000 for 50 ml and then there's another sunscreen that is like 11000 for 150 ml which is like double of what you will get with 50 ml the price difference is just like maybe 4000 do you see where i'm going i'll advise that you get sunscreens that are like more in quantity they are more expensive but you will see that they will last longer and it's i don't think i think they are better value for your money please bear in mind that these are just my opinions and my experiences they might differ from yours um skincare is personal my experience with this product might differ from your experience with them what works for me might not work for you and vice versa also i'm not an esthetician or a dermatologist if you can afford it get the opinion of a dermatologist it is safer also please be kind to yourself be kind to yourself be patient skincare is a journey it takes time it might be fast for you it might take time i've been battling with hyperpigmentation for years and i'm still battling with it but it gets better every day it is not about having perfect skin it's about having healthy skin healthy skin over perfect skin also like i said please be kind to yourself um, acne hyperpigmentation does not determine your words does not determine how beautiful you are you are beautiful you are gorgeous you are handsome and don't think about it you are beautiful just the way you are also please let's be kind to other people they saw themselves in the mirror before they left the house unsolicited opinions we don't want it don't start telling people or pointing out their acne hyperpigmentation they know shut up be kind to people please 
thank you i hope you enjoyed watching this video let us make better skincare decisions in 2024 please like comment subscribe share this video i'll see you some other time and merry christmas my love i love you bye bye